Excuse me, do you guys work here? I'm looking for your CEO, Chi Kun. I have 20 questions for... Uh... Hi, I'm Chi Kun. Oh, hi Chi Kun. Um, how much money do I need to set up a stall? Well, it depends on whether you're looking for push cart or setting up a stall. But we always make it easy for aspiring uh, entrepreneurs who want to set up a shop. Consider setting up on our e-commerce platform. After you've done it successfully, then you can consider looking for a shop in any of our malls in Singapore. Oh, Mr. Lee. Hey, please call me Chikun. All right, uh, Chikun, can I ask how to be a CEO like you? Well, I never started out wanting to be a CEO. Personally, I always try to do my best. When I was given leadership positions, I always try to push myself how I can make a difference to the organization. When one thing led to the other, and today I'm the CEO of uh, Capital N. Uh, Chikun, can I ask what do you study in school and any advice for us children out here? I studied engineering but I had never practiced as an engineer. In fact, I personally believe that a lot of the things that we studied may not be relevant you know, when you actually go into your working life. My best advice is always be adaptable, be resilient and stay hungry. Okay Chikun, describe 2020 in a tweet. Well, 280 characters. The challenges and struggles that we are facing in 2020 will develop the strengths that are needed for our organization for many years to come. Chikun, more people have grown used to working from home. What does that mean for the future of work and for your property business? It means for many companies is that we need to accept a more flexible work arrangement. My own view is that offices will need to be redesigned going forward. But personally, I feel that uh, the office setting is still important because it is a place where people build up social capital, build up trust, build up team spirit, camaraderie. So Chikun, what's the thought process that goes behind opening a new mall? Key thing is to determine the unit selling point or in my own terms, it's the mojo for the shopping mall. Chikun, are you feeling optimistic about the future of the local retail scene? Uh, initially, I was a little bit concerned because of the pressures from e-commerce. But uh, over the last uh, few years, we have seen successful uh, entrepreneurs taking their uh, businesses into the physical malls. And I'm very optimistic by the future of local retail scene in Singapore. Chikun, what's your favourite project so far? Oh, this is a tough one. It's like asking me to choose which is my favourite child. If I really have to choose something, I would say it's the Raffles City portfolio. It is something that we have successfully created in Singapore and taken it overseas. So Chikun, for developers in Asia, what's an investment mistake they could potentially make amidst this crisis and how can they avoid that? Winston Churchill said, never waste a good crisis. I believe that there are good opportunities during the crisis, whether it is to upgrade your competitiveness or to build up buffer to take counter-cyclical positions so that you can really extend your lead from your competition. Uh, Chikun, how are your toilets so clean? Well, it's the same as making sure we look after every single small details in the company. But to do that, we really need the whole of the organisation to work together. Chikun, don't know if you can answer this, but are you human? Well, of course, sometimes I do wish that I have superhuman abilities so that I can be different places at the same time to handle uh, different activities. Uh, Chikun, you are eating and eating. I'll help you. Thank you. The Uh Chikun, can you describe your management style and philosophy during COVID-19? What has stressed you out the most and what keeps you going? We needed to make sure that we have a strong balance sheet, cash flow, make sure that uh, we could protect as many jobs as uh, possible and keep capacity for us to take different counter-cyclical investment opportunities. 
The thing that I worry the most was about the jobs of all the people who work for the company because it not only affects them, but also their families. During the period of the COVID-19, it was that one for all, all for one type of team spirit that really kept me going. Chikun, your REITs really go back up or not? This is a trick question. As a company, we do not give guidance in terms of share price. But what I can assure you is that we work very hard to make sure that we deliver the best returns to all our unit holders. Chikun, how do Capital and Balance Investor dividend payouts with ensuring that rents remain sustainable for local businesses? Well, the impact for COVID-19 is deep and wide. At the company level, we have cut um, discretionary expenses quite aggressively. We have also taken steps to help to give rental relief to our tenants. Everyone working together, taking short-term pain so that you know we can all enjoy the fruits in the longer run. Chikun, with regards to COVID-19 highlighting the need for a more inclusive and socially just society, how can Capital M play its role in business and in the community? As a company, it's important that we are strong financially, but that on its own is not going to be sufficient. We need to do the right thing and we need to do good as well. Capital M stepping up during this period, providing accommodation for healthcare workers, for migrant workers, helping tenants in terms of rent relief and also working closely with tenants and customers in transforming their business models for the future. Chikun, once COVID-19 is under control, which of Capital N's businesses are likely to attract more capital and which might Capital N potentially exit? Our aim is to build a balanced and well-diversified portfolio across different asset classes and uh, markets. We choose our markets and uh, asset classes by how much money we can deploy and whether we can be competitive. So going forward, you will see us doing more in places like data centers, logistics and business parks. Chikun, how are you responding to the short-term challenges of COVID-19 while continuing to invest in longer-term sustainability objectives? As a company, we feel that sustainability is, has, a, has a profound and long-standing impact in the world that we live in. And we need to do the right thing so that, you know, when we uh, look into the eyes of our children, we can safely and confidently tell them that we have left behind a safe and secure environment for them. Chikun, I ask you, uh, what's one thing that gets you through a bad day? Spending time with my wife and my kids at the end of the day. Mr. Lee, I mean Chikun, just one more question. What's the next big thing in real estate we should be excited about? My view is about incorporating sustainability considerations across the full spectrum of the real estate business. What is the point of having building a nice building without a decent planet to put it on? That's all I have. I've given my 20 answers to your 20 questions. Stay safe, keep healthy. I hope to see you around when you visit our malls. Goodbye everyone.